Hello YouTube, this is 20 Hall 20 here, and today I'm going to be showing a tutorial about how to, like, have like a like and a dislike system like YouTube's, so, like, I'm going to show you right here. And, yeah, like, you can click like and dislike. Um, this system, this feature is going to have two tables in a database. It's going to have there's going to be a vote, it's going to have ID, integer, which is username, which is a marker, PID, which is an integer, and voted is uh, integer 2. Okay, um, the PID is going to be used for the page ID and the voted if you, if you have voted or not, and the username is your username, or your clients whose names okay in the votes here's the ID first then there's the likes this is like the for the page I likes dislikes and pity they're all um integer votes or eight and now let's do the coding I have here a ink page like it just connects to the database and selects the database uh, the local host is a domain then that's a username and the, the password should go in there but I don't got the password and the second line is just um the database like it selects the database okay so firstly in here I'm gonna include the page the, the one that connects to the database and I'm gonna start the session because we will be using sessions as to having members or users and I'm going to define user as a session user and since we don't set this up somewhere else I'm going to set it up as a, at this moment and I'm going to call myself admin just because I'm used to it to check if this works we echo out user and if it works then we should get that so now the user command works. Um, and then I'm gonna define PID as well. You have to get the P like the thing at the in your URL. It's gonna get that. And then there's an if statement. So it's gonna if um, the PID is set, then. It's not set, then will you just die and it'll just say like error or oh, whoops. It'll just say error page not found like it did before I refreshed the page. So like right now it's just error not found. Um and here as I put something in like an ID it's not going to show anything because I haven't said anything if, if it is set. And in here I'm just going to do another if statement. Which is going to... Well, you need to kind of connect your database first for this, but yeah. So I'm going to define query as connect to my database. My MySQL underscore query and then select all from um, all from votes, where PID, well, that's a bit wrong there, where just PID equals dollar sign PID. Um, a, a tip should I give you is that, um, you should, um, like, don't select all, like, you just type in the call names, but, and then I'm just gonna do a row, which is gonna, fetch me all the data between from the query and then I'm going to define um, ID as the page ID in the database and that's what we're going to be using and then in, in the if command so if ID is a s or yeah it's the same as PID, the page ID, then we 
just echo works just for now. We're gonna be changing this soon. We're just checking if this works yet. Else just gonna send us back to the home page. So basically it's just gonna say not found again. Because there's nothing put in. So as you see now it says error not found. So let's go in the database and add our field. So here we're just gonna don't need to add an ID, just gonna PID equals one. After we've done that and we added the PID equals one into our web page, it'll say works. So that's good. Um and now instead of saying works, we're going to First we're gonna, uh, yeah, first we have to define the, um, I, the likes and the dislikes from the database, so we know our numbers. That's right done right there, and so here we're just gonna echo out our likes and dislikes. So likes, and then dollar sign likes, and then we're gonna put break, so so, wow, fail here. So we're going to put, put break and then dislikes, which is going to be dollar sign dislikes. And that should show zero and zero. Now test it out, I'm just going to put in a one and two for likes and dislikes. Once we refresh the page, it should say one and two. So, yes, this, should, this is working. Change back to zero. And I got three more minutes. So as this is, we're gonna now do another if statement. This if statement, we're going to do something. So like, we're gonna do if about the user, if the user can vote or not. As you can, as you might have thought about it, but uh, that you can only vote once. Or you can only click like or dislike once at on a page. Well, we're here going to do another query to check about if the user has already voted or no. I'm going to define as query one. Select all from voters where username equals user. And row one, I'm going to just name it row one instead of row because I already used row. Equal, it's just going to get. It's just going to fetch the data from query one. And um, voted equals row. This is gonna define like if the person has voted or not. If the person has voted, like for the page. If he has not voted, then this would result zero. So he can vote. And if he has, then it will result yes. We're gonna also define PID as page, well, page ID as PID. Um, another thing we're going to define is because, because we might need to. And that's about it, really. And now we're going to continue on the if statement next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.